through our investigation in El Paso, we learned from an informant that Ted Young was currently in Honduras. We needed a face-to-face -face meeting with him, and he was in Honduras and we were in Texas. The Honduran government gives the team just four days to track down the fugitive. Investigators begin their search in the capital city of Tegucigalpa. This is a big place, and we have very few leads. They were to leave within about 36 hours. The next to last day in Honduras, Matt called me to say, it looks like if Young was here, he's probably gone. Another day passes. Investigators question dozens of villagers, grasping at anything. It was do or die. They had a few hours to find him or leave. Then they find an eyewitness. She's seen an American man who fits Young's description. The white man may be working at an automotive repair shop on the outskirts of town. My heart was, uh, was pounding, my, my pulse was racing. As we were driving past without trying to attract attention to ourselves, I saw a gray-headed man who appeared to be Anglo. And at the time, I said out loud, that's Ted Young. That call came from Matt, and we caught him. And I just couldn't believe it. Young's look ran out today, as rangers find him hiding in Honduras. The rangers interrogate Young in the local jail. We brought Ted into a room with just uh, him and Lieutenant Bucklew and myself. Ted Young looked at Matt and Cleet and said, who are you guys? Who are you? And they said, we're Texas Rangers from Waco, Texas. We're here to talk to you about a murder. He got very pale. He looked very nervous. He knew exactly what we were talking about. I explained to him that if you stop and think about this, Ted, I've got a better case against you for murder than I do against Sam Urich. I said, you're not in a position to bargain. Mr. Young, you can sit there and you can deny, or we're gonna give you the opportunity to tell us what your involvement was. And he threw his hands up in the air and he said, I'm not gonna go down for something Sam Urich did. And he told us everything he knew. The fugitive recounts a surprise visit from Sam Urich down in Honduras. He came home one night, and Sam Urich was waiting on him, and Sam was armed. And Sam says, you're going to do me a favor, because you owe me. And as Ted said, Sam's not a man you say no to. Realizing he has no way out, Young comes clean about what happened to Gary Patterson 18 months earlier. Ned Wright meets him at the airport. As soon as it gets dark and they've had a few drinks, Ted takes Gary out into the desert under the pretense of getting some soil samples. Sam Urich opened the door and told Mr. Patterson, I told you that I could reach out and touch you anywhere. Gary turns back to look at Ted for help, and Ted has a gun on him. And basically, with the gun held on him, Sam wraps him in duct tape where he can't move. Yurik told him, leave him with me. I'm going to be with him all night. When he left Gary Patterson with Sam Yurik, Yurik had a pipe. and said, he's told us the whole story. He just won't believe this. And I think he can lead us to the body. I 
and I slid a piece of paper over to him and gave him a pen. I said, draw me a map, and he did. Investigators have the map faxed to El Paso, and they waste no time trying to find Gary's desert grave. I thought, we'll never even get close to finding this. It was just so generic. It had a couple of directions indicated, and then a couple of squares on it. It had a little stick figure in it, as though that was going to be the body. Uh, very plain. Ted Young pleads guilty to murder for hire and is sentenced to 20 years in prison. With the evidence stacked against him, Sam Urich pleads guilty too. Today, Judge Walter Smith sentenced Urich to life in federal maximum security prison for the murder, bringing a lengthy investigation to an end.